extra, extra, aliens invade Burbank, electronic store. Or that's how I imagine the newspaper headline read when this awesome store first opened, but now? Could it be the headline is the best electronic store in the world is closing doors? Soon to be one of America's abandoned retail apocalypse victims? I hope not, because this Fry's location has to be one of my absolute favorite places to shop. I mean, when you walk into the store, not only do you have your regular selection of electronics and gadgets, which is, hey, great for a guy like me, but you've got all of this amazing 1950s sci-fi stuff going on around the store. And it's all really well done. I mean, this, this right here is an actual Jeep that has been cut in half with a laser beam. And then over in the back, you've got a giant flying saucer, the length of the store. And every once in a while, there's a little alien hiding in the shadows, ready to zap you with his ray gun. And you know, just like any other electronic store, you're here looking at washers and, oh, there's a giant ant above you. It's gonna devour you. Ah! There's another one. I mean, this store is epic, so I don't understand why the shelves are emptying. Oh, and check this out. This is one of my favorite features. They have a cafe in the store where you can eat, grab a cup of coffee or ice cream, and you can actually sit in a 1950s car as if you were dining at a drive-in. And these are not just cheap recreations of the cars made to look cool. These are actual cars that they cut up and made into seating for this little cafe. I mean, how awesome is that? Nobody else does this. I hope it doesn't go away because I am going to miss it a lot. It's sad to see a view like this because these aisles were chock full of electronics and gadgets and trinkets. And now, sadly, there's a guy taking apart one of the cool train displays. But as you can see walking down each aisle, they're barren. Like there's, there's probably, I don't know, one tenth of, of what used to be on these shelves. And the aisles in between them are just empty. There's no little, you know, baskets with promo things that they're highlighting. I mean, check this out. How many stores go to this link to entertain their guests, their customers? This just doesn't happen anymore. If indeed Fry's is disappearing, if it's going to be abandoned, if it's joining the ranks of one of the ghost malls of America, I'm gonna miss this place. You can't get vibes like this hopping onto Amazon.com or Newegg or whatever. Online shopping just does not compare to this. This is inspirational. This is a this is this is a destination. This is something to look forward to on the weekend. Oh, this section actually used to be full of computers and laptops and monitors, and now it's empty. Now, each one of these large, long kiosks being held up by octopus tentacles was full of computers. This is where you came to buy the latest and greatest, and it's just empty now. 
Here's another cool display that you just don't see anybody really doing. Nobody, nobody really puts this much effort into anything in stores these days, it seems. But this is like a little train setup with some cool rockets at the end. And this, this thing would just be running back and forth back in the day. There's a, another poor soldier who's being overwhelmed by this giant uh, flying saucer. This is the camera section. It's just a few tripods laid out to take up as much space as they can. And there's nothing really here. I mean, there's a few older model cameras. But at least for now, above the empty shelves, the barren shelves, we still have these awesome, unique, one-of-a-kind displays with the little train that will run back and forth. Here's some UFO aliens. I mean, this is, this is so cool. This is... I really hope this doesn't go away because this is... This is one-of-a-kind. Look at all this empty floor space now. This used to be filled with little displays to draw your attention. Now it's just empty floor space. And this shelf, this shelf used to be all of the uh, motherboards. It's, it's empty now. There's not a single motherboard on display. And around it, all of the computer cases and accessories, that's all very barren too. breaks my heart to see the store in this condition. I mean, look at this. Xbox One games. Um, yeah, that's... No. Something is up here. These little cages used to house some of the more expensive games and PlayStation accessories. They're empty. And look at this neglected checkout register. It looks like it's from the 80s. Oh my gosh. If Fry's disappears, where else are you going to be able to stop in at any time of day and pick up a pack of resistors for that important electronics project you're working on? Or specialty screws. You know, they carried thousands of electronic parts. Like, the only other place that did this was Radio Shack, and they're gone. So if you need something for a project. Basically, you're gonna be forced to order it off some website and have it shipped out. BNC connectors, crimp on connectors, network connectors. I mean, it's just, it's endless, the selection that was here. And here's the sad graphics card section. These shelves used to be chock full of G-Force and Radeon, and now they're empty. And the same goes for the tablets, empty. I don't understand. Please tell me that this place is not going out of business. It's not going to be a ghost town. One more overview of the sad state of the computer and laptop sales area. But look at this. I mean, they even had office supplies. You didn't have to run over to Staples after you went here. I mean, or Office Depot. I mean, Fry's was like a one-stop shop for everything. Look at this display. This is an actual vintage motorcycle. It's probably worthwhile to take that down, actually, and sell it in an auction. And finally, even the checkout line was an experience when you went into a Fry's electronics store. This one is made to look like a little diner 
complete with the black and white checker floor, neon on the roof line. But as you walked down this hallway, which in the heydays of Fry's, you used to have to wait in this line forever to get to a cash register because there were so many people with money burning a hole in their pockets and they were buying things left and right and all of these little snack items and little trinkets along the way, you would be more than tempted to add them to your purchase because you were just passing the time waiting to get up to one of the what seemed like a hundred registers with cashiers just waiting to help you. Maybe there's only about 30 cash registers, but it seemed like hundreds back in the day. And then as you walk toward the exit, there are all of these temptations, little gumball machines, bouncing balls, stickers and tattoos. But Sadly, our time at Fry's has come to an end. And I'm just hoping that Fry's itself has not come to an end. What does the future hold? Hopefully this will not be the year that Fry's disappears into the retail apocalypse black hole. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.